Now that I've finished my title page, I'm going to go on to the second part, and that's the life cycle of a plant. So I'm going to go to where it says number two, and I'm going to click so I'm all ready to go. Go ahead and pause the video and find the life cycle slide. Now that I have found the life cycle slide, I'm going to look at the different numbers. The numbers represent the order that a plant grows. So the first one, here I have a number one. And the number one is a seed because a plant starts at a seed. So I'm going to find the number one over here and I'm going to click and type the word seed. Go ahead and pause the video to write number one seed on your life cycle. The next part of the life cycle we're going to do is number two. So after a seed, we go to number two and we have a seedling. So next to number two, I'm going to write seedling. If this happens, what I can do is I can pull on the blue to make it bigger so that it all fits in one space. The other vocabulary word that you could have there might be sprout. So whichever one your teacher told you to write, but you don't need to write them both, just one of them. So go ahead and pause the video now to write next to number two. Number three is next. So after I go to my next one, now I have what's called a young plant. So I can click next to the three and I can write young plant. Go ahead and pause the video and write next to number three. The last one we're going to go to is number four. So here is number four in our life cycle. So we've gone around the life cycle. So I'm going to click next to number four. So, and I'm going to write adult plant. You might even have mature plant. So whatever your teacher had you write, that's what you're going to type here. So go ahead and finish putting number four. And I'll see you right back here for the next slide.